John Colo with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you. And today's episode is like me being in a candy store when I was a kid. I no longer eat candy, but a kid in a candy store is like, wow, they're so excited. And I'm really excited today to share this brand new juicer with you. It's actually made by Tribest. It's called the Slow Star Juicer. And Tribest makes other juicers such as the Green Star Juicer, the Green Star Elite Juicer. They've also brought you the Solo Star Juicer, the Manual Hand Crank Z Star Juicer, as well as the Fruit Star Juicer. Now this is their second entry into the vertical single auger domain. Now their Fruit Star Juicer was specifically designed to juice fruits and it did a fairly good job at juicing fruits but not so good at vegetables. Whereas the all new Slow Star Juicer is probably one of the best juicers in the vertical single auger category to optimize juicing the vegetables for a few very important features that we'll go over in just a second. So in any case, I just got this juicer and maybe we'll go over a couple features on the box and then we're going to go ahead and unbox this, explain to you why this one is truly new and different and different than a lot of the other vertical single auger juicers on the market plus also show you all the different accessories it comes with to offer you features that up until this point no other vertical single auger juicer has included with the machine and actually on most of them you can't really even do this feature which is really exciting so let's check out the box here so on the box here it says low speed of 47 rpms rpm stands for revolutions per minute that's how fast the juicer turns most vertical single auger juicers run at about 80 rpms although there was an NP in the market for a while that used a DC motor that was actually quite loud that was 40 rpms but that one is no longer available at this point so this is the slowest single auger vertical juicer on the market if not the slowest juicer on the market period so that's really exciting in general the lower rpm means the higher nutrition with less oxidation in addition it says 200 watt motor and reduction gears produce the same amount of torque as a 9 horsepower motor. So other vertical single auger juicers, many of them may have a 150 watt motor with 80 RPMs that produce approximately 4 horsepower after gear reduction. So this one has a more powerful motor and actually um, almost twice as powerful. So I'm really excited. I mean, one thing is how good the machine looks on paper. The other thing is how good it performs when I'm actually using it. So we're going to actually get to use it really soon. And actually, I'll be comparing it in future episodes with other vertical single auger machines on the market. Also, it says BPA-free housing and casing. So this is really good. The, the market is demanding BPA-free appliances. And it says, uh, virtually BPA-free Ultim Auger and Screen. So Tribest is one of the first companies that's being honest with the customers. There have been some companies in the past that advertise their machine as 100% BPA-free uh, when after asking the manufacturers several times, they could not provide me with BPA-free status. And for that reason, we've actually discontinued selling certain brands of vertical single auger juicers at this time. So I'm glad that Tribest is being forthright and just letting you guys know it's BPA free on the certain parts and virtually BPA free on other parts. I mean virtually BPA free, that's good enough for me. Uh, next it says juicing and mincing attachment included. So what is a juicing and mincing attachment? Well the juicing attachment is a standard juicer like most vertical single auger juicers. And the mincing attachment, that's like that blank plate on your Champion juicer. That's like the blank plate that comes with the other horizontal single auger style machines. This is the part that allows you to make frozen banana sorbet, uh, nut butters, and also make things like pâtés and sauces in your juicer. So Trivest is the first one that's including it with the juicer for actually the same price as many of the other competitor models on the market so this is definitely a good thing I'm all about you know getting the best juicer at the best price for you guys and that's why I make these videos to teach you guys uh, you know which juicer may be the right one for you so I'm excited about this these features on this machine and hopefully it's going to perform well another thing it says a uh, quiet operation once again the lower the RPM the quieter the machine is to use you know high speed juicers that run it 10,000 plus RPMs are really loud, they're hard on the ears, plus they tend to 
create more oxidation in the food, which lowers the nutritional quality of the juice. So for that reason, 99% of the time, I use the slow RPM juicers in my house to make my fresh juices. Uh, finally, it says 10-year warranty. So a 10-year warranty is your assurance that you will have a machine that's going to be guaranteed to work uh, and provide you with fresh fruits and vegetable juices and other things like frozen fruit sorbets in your kitchen, which is going to allow you to get healthier. Let's face it, most Americans do not eat enough fruits and vegetables in their diet and the juicer is, in my opinion, the number one tool that will allow you to get more fruits, but more importantly, the vegetables in your diet so that you can get healthier. And to me, a juicer is an investment and it's an investment in the most important thing I got, my health, because think about it, without your health, you're, you can't enjoy the money you got, you can't enjoy your family, you can't enjoy your house, you can't enjoy that sports car or your hobbies or whatever you want to do. And that's why juicing to me is so important because it allows you to literally, in my opinion, maximize your health by including some of the best foods on the earth, the fruits and the vegetables, and more importantly, the leafy green vegetables. Uh, another thing I want to mention about the Tribest Slow Star Juicer, it is made in Korea. So Korea is the origin of the vertical single auger style machines and this one is made in Korea. Many vertical single auger style machines now appearing on the market are now being produced in China. Now these machines were originally made in Korea and that's where the technology was originally developed and then the Chinese uh, basically took this design, knocked it off and in my opinion are making some inferior products. So it's very important when looking for a vertical single auger juice, you want to make sure it's made in Korea. That's uh, definitely one way that you could uh, be assured of higher quality. The other thing, of course, you want to do is be sure to check my other videos where I compare all the different vertical auger style machines to show you guys which one may be the best for you. So with that, I guess we're going to go ahead and uh, open up this box and share with you guys all the different parts and uh, things that are included. All right, so here's the main body here. Man, oh, kind of heavy. Got to use two hands. Got right here. The Slow Star Juicer by Tribest. Nice red color, accent your kitchen. Really cool. Uh, let's see, on here it says uh, 200 watts and um, it's uh, ETL and ANSI listed. And on the back here we have an on and off button. So the on and off button and it has a little uh, cover over it to protect you and protect liquid from getting in there. So this button is a three position button. It's, uh, the middle position is off. Uh, if you push it on the top, it's on. And if you press the bottom, it's a momentary reverse. So the reverse is only used if something gets jammed in the machine and you need to reverse it out to get it unclogged or unjammed. That's the main motor housing. Another thing I want to mention is that it does have a nice three prong grounded plug to plug into. And it's probably about, I don't know, five, six feet approximately. Next, let's go up. Oh, here it is. Very important with every juicer, I always encourage you guys to read the instruction manuals or minimally watch my demonstration videos where I explain how to use the machines. In addition, besides the oops, instruction manual, you get your warranty card. So the warranty card is very important so that you can mail in your 10-year warranty and get registered for it. Now, the warranty on all the juicers are only applicable to the uh, initial purchaser. So if you do buy a juicer used, you will not be getting a warranty. So, you know, keep that in consideration if you are considering a used juicer. The warranty, once again, if you buy a used juicer, and yeah, you might save 20, 30, 40 bucks, you won't have a warranty. So what if your juicer breaks down in a couple years, right? You're gonna have to spend the money to buy the parts. It'd be far better to spend a little bit more now and have the assurance that you're gonna be having a warranty that's gonna ensure that you'll be able to continue to juice. So another thing besides the length of the warranty, which is 10 years on this machine, is how is the company that's standing behind the warranty? You know, there has been a lot of fly-by-night juicer companies that may come out and claim a long warranty, but only a year or two later disappear, and when the company goes out of business, your warranty is kaput, and it's gone. So for that reason, I like the Tribest company because they have a proven track record of actually being one of the oldest companies in the juicing industry in the U.S. that does support their products. Based on the feedback I've received, Tribest has some really good warranty support when it comes down to it. And the other thing about the instruction book is that unlike many juicers, this instruction book actually comes with some recipes in the back. So that's really cool. It has some juicer recipes and uh, more interestingly enough, it actually has the mincer recipes and it has recipes how to make 
uh, rye raw bread, uh, cashew curry croquettes, mochi pecan pleasers, cashew poppy, uncooked banana blueberry ice cream pie. Man, that gets my mouth watering right now. So yeah, so you could do a lot more than just juice. You can make a whole lot of other treats and which will allow you in the end to eat more of the healthy plant-based foods that many people in America today may not be eating in such high quantities. Let's move on and see what else is in the box here. See over on this side, we got, all right, here's the main body of the juicer here. Take that apart here. And you know, this pretty much looks like most other vertical single arbor juices, except it has a little handle in the back, which is nice to carry it, which is easy. No other juices really have that. Also, it has a kind of a spider web design on the top of the uh, housing here, which I don't particularly care for so much. It looks like things could drop in there and it might get kind of harder to clean, although it kind of looks fancy. I'd rather have it more, you know, uh, flat across without any nooks and crannies. Uh, this feed chute size looks about the same size as uh, other feed chutes in uh, this style machine. Next, let's go ahead and pull out this auger. Now, this auger is a little bit different than other augers on the market for the vertical single auger style machines. Most vertical single augers have basically a single blade, which uh, will cut up to some extent, but that's why I recommend you pre-cut your produce into small pieces when juicing in most single auger juicers. Uh, the Tribest Slow Star has a duo blade system, and that's because they have two blades. They have one blade here, and one blade here. So as this goes around, it's actually cutting up the produce unlike other single auger vertical juicers on the market. And actually, this is a little bit sharp, not super sharp. You're not going to cut yourself, but it's definitely a lot more of a point than other juicers on the market. So I'm really going to be interested in comparing this to other machines on the market to see it actually how it performs. Uh, pretty much the auger is a little bit, little bit different shape than other augers. It's actually nice and recessed in the bottom and a little bit lighter than some of the other augers on the market. In addition, we're going to go ahead and pull out the next part here, which is the screen. This is the standard juicing screen. This is a heavy-duty HD juicing screen, which is eight times harder on the Tribest Slow Star Juicer. And it just pretty much looks like another screen. It's a little bit thinner on some respects than other screens, especially here at the bottom, which maybe concerns me a little bit. But once again, this screen is included in the 10-year warranty, so if your screen should have any issues, it should be replaced under warranty. The only comment I have about this screen is that there seems to be a lot of nooks and crannies in here. Once again, that will increase the cleanup time compared to other machines on the market. Next, we have the uh, automatic wiping blade. So like, just like other vertical single auger juicers on the market, this wiping blade basically goes on the outside of the screen. And as the juicer is running, you can see the uh, wiping blade will spin around and the silicone wiping blades actually wipe the screen clean to assure you a higher yield and also so that your screen does not get clogged with pulp. In addition, when you're done juicing, this makes it a lot easier for cleanup because you can pour water through the machine which will help clean the machine and flush it and this will help clean out the screen so that you don't have to. Finally, we have the main juicing bowl here. Uh, and this is where the whole juicing apparatus goes into. has a little gear that turns the uh, wiping blade and uh, the juice is going to come out this spout here and the pulp is coming out this spout. Uh, on the bottom here, what you can see is a pulp flap and this pulp flap just kind of pulls out and uh, this pulp flap, it should always be put in when juicing and what this pulp flap does, it keeps back pressure on the pulp to keep it inside the machine to assure you, you're going to have the highest yield. So uh, that's pretty much all the uh, juicing parts. Another thing interesting about this pulp flap, a lot of pulp flaps go in uh, horizontal orientation. This pulp flap, unlike other juicers, goes in under more vertical orientation. So this may trick you up a little bit if you're not used to it. Let's see what else is in the box here. Oh, okay. Uh, what else is in the box here? We've got two more parts on this side. Of course, we have your cleaning brush. So this cleaning brush is basically like an oversized toothbrush and it's uh, actually very stiff bristles with some other uh, bristles on top with a little screwdriver attachment on the bottom. This is imperative that you use this to get into some of the nooks and crannies of the machine such as you know where the uh, pulp comes out to clean the uh, port really well. In addition you can use the different brushes on here to uh, scrub your screen down 
you know, once you're done juicing to keep your screen clean. I do recommend using the brush and uh, brush the inside of the screen and the outside of the screen to get all the pulp dislodged. One of the things you want to ensure that you're doing after every use is you want to clean all the pulp out of all the little holes. I might actually also recommend holding this up to a light and making sure you can see through all the little holes because if you can't, then your holes are getting plugged. When your holes are getting plugged, what's that going to mean? That's going to mean a reduction in yield and your juicer is not going to operate properly which is no fun. So ensure that you clean your juicer after every use and they give you that special cleaning brush so that you can do just that. In addition, you want to definitely slow down when using the juicer so that you don't push things in too quickly and overload the juicer. Once again, these are slow juicers and if you feed things in too quickly, they're not going to work properly. So aside from all the juicing apparatus, there's another side with even more parts inside this machine. So let's open it up and check it out. So over on this side, we got the juice collection cup. So it looks like these guys are identical. Uh, one is to collect the juice and one is to collect the pulp. And they both uh, probably go up to about uh, approximately 1,000 milliliters or one liter, so that's about 33 ounces. So we got two more parts in the box. Let's get those out before I get into actually juicing in the Slow Star. And uh, this is the next part, and I'm so glad TriBest is including the strainer or a little sieve with the Slow Star Juicer. I've been asking the manufacturers forever to include a strainer with their juicers and you know far and few of them actually do that. So I'm glad that TriVest is not only including a strainer but it's a fine sieve strainer. So if you don't like pulp you have the choice now. The juice as it comes out of the juicer will be a little bit pulpy and vertical single auger juicers in general produce some of the highest amount of pulp. With the strainer you can now take it out. Another thing that's nice about the strainer, it is 100% stainless steel and even better, it fits right on the top of the collection cup so that you can strain your juice as it comes out. Of course, the last part coming right out is that mincer piece or that homogenizing blank and you know they don't give you a blank, they give you a whole other piece, heavy duty piece so that you can make things like banana sorbet, nut butters, nut pâtés you know, vegetable burgers that you could dehydrate and even make things like sauces and mochi in the TriBest Slow Star Juicer. So I'm really excited that they're actually including this at no additional cost to you. Once again, the price of this machine is similar to the other machines in the same category, but you also get the mincing attachment or blank or homogenizing attachment as well. I guess the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get to assembling the machine and show you how easy it is to assemble and then we're going to get into juicing with the Slow Star Juicer for the first time. We're back and we're all ready to set up and show you guys how to assemble the all new TriVest Slow Star Juicer. After assembly, then we're going to get to juice, my favorite part because I'm actually thirsty today. What we're going to juice today are we have about two pounds of grapes right here. And then we also have about 1.6 pounds of delicious leafy greens. So this would be a good test for the slow start to see how it's going to do on uncut leafy greens and also some grapes. In, in general, the uh, vertical single auger style machines work fairly well when juicing fruits. And they can have challenges with some of the greens, but due to the special design, hopefully it's going to do a lot better. So let's go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to assemble the slow start juicer. Now the first step is we're going to take the main juicing bowl and this has a little handle. It kind of reminds me of many food processors on the market. We're going to take the handle and uh, this actually just goes down in like this and then you rotate it. And uh, once again, much like a food processor, this has a built-in safety switch that is enabled by this little uh, lever in, in the middle of the handle here. Uh, if the machine is not properly assembled, it will not turn on. So it's very important to pay attention to these assembly instructions. So once again, we're going to go ahead and put this on, spins into place and locks into place. Uh, the next step is we're going to go ahead and take the uh, automatic wiping blade here and we're going to take the screen and put the screen right in through there. Very simple, very easy. The next step is we're going to take this little, uh, the top of the screen, look for that little white dot. And on the top of the juicer here, there's also another white dot. So all you need to do is simply line up the white dots so that they're uh, next to each other. And then now this is ready and locked into place. 
The next thing you're going to do is just take the auger, once again, this is the dual blade auger, one blade here, one blade here. Take this guy, it goes right in, should just seat into place, it's going to sink down a little bit once you get it in there. So next you're going to go ahead and take the top and then there's a little red dot on the top here. And there's also that you know, little white dot that you're lining up. You're going to go ahead and align that red dot with the white dot that you just lined up. Put that in place and then you're going to just rotate this over uh, to the left. And then it's going to lock into place so that it engages the safety. So now that we have this assembled, the last thing of course, don't forget to put your collection cups in place. So we need one collection cup here where the juice is going to come out and one collection cup over on this side which is where the pulp comes out. Now I like that they actually have these guys offset and another thing I really like so far about this juicer is that this juicer sits a little bit higher up off the countertop or your work surface than other juicers so you can uh, put taller collection cups in here if you want to use something say made out of glass for example. One of the things I like to do to catch my juice in I like to use the um, mason jars, the wide mouth 32 ounce mason jars, so that'll fit no problem underneath the Slow Star juicer. I guess so. Without further ado, we might want to put the strainer, which you can or can may not do if you want. We're going to go ahead and put it on there to see the you know how much pulp is remaining in the juice. And the next thing is to just get started. So as long as you assemble the juicer properly, when you turn it on, it should come on. So let's see. All right, so we got it on. So. One of the things I like about the Slow Star Juicer is that it runs at a low 47 RPMs or revolutions per minute. So this is really good. Lower RPMs generally means higher nutrition in the juice. So we're just going to go ahead and take a handful of grapes and uh, dump them in there. As you can see, the grape juice is being instantly squeezed out of the screen and uh, working really well. So I just put some grapes in there and it's juicing it up really good. Next, we're going to go for the romaine. Now, normally, on vertical single auger style juices, I recommend actually not to use the pusher. But in this case, if you're feeding whole pieces of romaine in and they're not pre-chopped into small pieces, you will need to use the pusher on the slow star juicer. This is because of the auger design, because it has the dual blade. It's not going to readily be as self-feeding as some of the other machines that don't have the dual blade technology. So you will have to push things in and you want to remember not to push things in too quickly. Give the machine some time to work. And there's the romaine pulp coming out of the pulp ejection port. It actually looks fairly dry. I really like how the juice comes out of this. It's almost like a little waterfall of juice coming out. As you can see, we got the romaine coming out. Let's go ahead and put some more grapes in. And now we're going to go ahead and put in a whole bunch of this uh, romaine heart here. We're going to shove that in the juicer and see how the juicer handles it. So far so good, it's handling it quite well. And man, I want to show you guys this pulp coming out. Check out all this pulp coming out, man. This is definitely some super dry pulp. It's uh, so far, it's fairly drier in my opinion than uh, pulp from other vertical auger juicers. This may be because of the dual blade that's actually cutting up some of the fibers more than on some of the other machines. So, so far I'm quite impressed. One of the things I'm not so impressed with with the Slow Star so far is that this uh, strainer, because it is such a small, fine sieve, it's actually getting full. So I'm going to have to go ahead and tap this down to get all the juice through. But it looks like this strainer is doing an amazing job to keep all that extra pulp out of my juice if you do want a pulpy juice. So you will have to tap this down at various intervals during juicing. So I'm continuing to juice in the Slow Star juicer. Once again, my romaine. And let's see if we tear up this romaine in a little pieces and it helps it with the uh, auto feeding a little bit better. I really like the auto feeding of the vertical auger juicers and this one seems to be not quite as auto feeding due, due to the dual blade and it doesn't allow things to drop in easily before the next blade comes in and uh, basically cut, does more cutting. So we're feeding this stuff in, it's working pretty good. But uh, one of the things I want to show you guys real quick is the outlet here where the pulp is coming out. Now if you guys notice where the pulp is coming out, I mean this pulp uh, ejection port is maybe about an inch wide and one of the things that's happening is that half the ejection port is clogged and things are not coming out. Things are only coming out half of the ejection port. If this happens to you, don't be concerned. This is completely normal. 
as long as pulp is still flowing out of the ejection port, at least half of it, or maybe even sometimes a quarter of it, the juicer is still working properly and you're all good to juice. So I'm continuing to juice and we're getting almost to the end of juicing my grapes and my romaine. But I wanted to show you guys this. I've been having to uh, constantly uh, tap this down to uh, get all the juice through the strainer because you can see the pulp that's still uh, left in the strainer that's not going into my collection cup, which is a good thing. But if there's too much residual pulp stuck in this little strainer, it's not going to strain easily. So what I recommend you guys do after a certain amount of time, there's a lot of pulp in there. Take the pulp that you just got out of the strainer and uh, put it back into the feed chute of the juicer and then quickly replace your strainer back down there and then follow it with something like the grapes or the romaine to help push that back through the machine and keep your juice flowing and your strainer unclogged. Let's see, uh, so today what I'm juicing actually is some uh, seedless grapes but for best results when juicing grapes and for higher levels of nutrition I always recommend you guys juice the seeded grapes Seeded grapes have more antioxidants than the seedless ones, plus guess what? I know you guys might not like dealing with the seeds and having to chew them up and they taste a little bitter, but the juicer loves the seeds. The seeds are some nice, fibrous, hard material that the juicer can really grip onto and it helps keep things moving through the juicer. Alright, so I'm just about done juicing in the Slow Star Juicer. I've juiced all my grapes, my collection cups really full, so I've been actually holding this um, strainer sieve up above so it doesn't get you know in there and uh, strain this out basically been tapping it down I'll probably have to drink some of the juice before I continue to juice anymore and uh, once you're done with the strainer I like to set it in on top of the pulp collection I do have a little bit more romaine juice but I gotta drink some before it starts overflowing and making a mess everywhere which is definitely no fun so now I want to share with you guys my comments on the slow star juicer you know, I think it definitely worked really well. I'm quite happy with how it worked, actually. I'm actually quite impressed on how dry the pulp is. It seems, just from my observation and using this the first time, that this pulp is a little bit drier than other single vertical auger juicers that I have used in the past. So this is exciting. Uh, I do, once again, like the uh, strainer that was a fine strainer at that and caught a lot of the pulp and I was just able to easily tap it down over time and pour some of that extra pulp to get it wrung out further and get a lot more juice yield and uh, I also liked how it looked like a waterfall as well. One of the things I did not like on the slow start juicer was that I had to use the pusher. I'm used to going pusher free on the vertical single augers so this is a little bit of a change for me and that's basically because the uh, dual blade design in here. On most single augers uh, there's basically there's one blade so it goes down and then as it comes around again it actually accepts more produce in with this because there's two blades it doesn't tend to do that as easily and that's why you're going to need to use a pusher actually on the slow star juicer so uh, let's see I guess the next thing is I want to go ahead and do a taste test of this juice for you once again a hundred percent grape and romaine lettuce wow this thing is really full mmm nice and delicious. It's actually virtually pulp free which is something that most vertical single auger juicers cannot do out of the box. I mean with this nice fine strainer got me virtually a pulp free juice. Definitely a good yield for starting with uh, about three and a half pounds of produce. I got you know easily one quart of juice and probably then some because I still have some left over to juice. So far, I'm really impressed with the Slow Star Juicer. This may just be my new favorite vertical auger juicer. Stay tuned for my YouTube channel for future updates and videos comparing the Slow Star Juicer to some of the other juicers available on the market today. You know, each juicer has its pros and cons. There's always good things and there's always bad things about juicers. My job is to teach you guys and show you guys the pros and cons of every machine so that you guys could determine which juicer may be the best one for you. At present time, I use the vertical single auger style juicers the most, and at present time, uh, this one's actually going to sit on my counter uh, instead of the other one that I have been using for many years, because at this point, 
I really like this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode learning more about the Slow Star Juicer. I definitely like it and I'm going to be using it a lot more to see how it performs over the long term. At present time, I definitely would recommend it. Not only does it have a full 10 year warranty, not only is it made in Korea uh, where the vertical auger juicers originated, not only is it backed up by a company that's been selling products that allow you to get healthier, but it also works very well, comes with that strainer, and it just seems to be dialed in and works great so far. So stay tuned for future episodes when I'm juicing a lot of other things in the Slow Star Juicer, and uh, you know I'll be sure to share all my comments with you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors. This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today on the episode, many of you guys have been waiting for, we got the all new juice off with the brand new Omega Juicers. Well, over on this side, we got the Omega NC800. Now this is a horizontal single auger style juicer that runs at 80 RPM. Then over on this side, we got the Omega Vert 400 HDS. Actually, both these guys are HDSs because they're both silver and they're both